it is Friday and I thought I would do a what I get done in a day while my kids are at school so from nine till three essentially it's just turned nine o'clock and um, I got home a few minutes ago I grabbed some bags for life and my first job is to go and pick up our grocery order fun fact I haven't done a proper meal plan or grocery order in quite a while just you know with the summer holidays they can be so unpredictable and full of different things and activities and I just feel like I don't know how we've even gotten through this first week back at school without having some sort of plan so I need to get on it um so we're going to go and pick that up and yeah I thought I would take you along obviously I have the privilege of working for myself I know I don't have a traditional role um but every day differs and I just thought I would show you what today is like obviously it's a Friday I worked over the weekend just prior anyway so I'm caught up predominantly with brand work I filmed some brand work yesterday and I need to edit that today I'd like to film a grocery haul I would like to obviously film this video so those are my work focuses and then in terms of everything else I've got washing in the washing machine already, our bedding because this weather is gross and we wash bedding and towels and stuff quite frequently anyway. Um, so I need to get that out on the line when I get back and then I need to hoover, dust and polish basically. I did the family bathroom, our ensuite, the downstairs toilet and... I cleaned out the rats yesterday. I also cleaned out our oven. Um, you know those kits that you get where you put it in the bag with the gel and it, it smells, but it, they're amazing. Um, our oven has like a clean function on it anyway. Um, I know I was like, when we got it, it was obviously the first time I've had a brand new oven and I was like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. It like does things that I can't even do. I can't even just put a function on and clean the whole house but it's amazing um and it's great but however you know like after a while you feel like a deep clean is needed so I did that and that is looking stunning and yeah I just need to get our life in order a bit ahead of the weekend I just feel like I'm still I don't know my arse from my elbow so um yeah come along with me and see what I get up to I hope you enjoy it first things first we definitely need some music before I just go and get my shopping I'm going to take these two returns back uh, because one is damaged and one is too big and then I'm going to go and get our feet. drops so quickly when it's humid it's like the opposite of the moniker effect it just kind of goes me um i picked up my order uh, which was good i quite like click and collect sometimes because i feel like i'm a bit more in control of it than when like a delivery comes and stuff i don't know if that's just me um and then while i was here with with brand work a lot of the time you will um it kind of works in a way that you'll get an inquiry comes through and that doesn't always equal guaranteed work and um, a lot of brands or their marketing teams will put loads of feelers out for loads of people and then they just kind of pick and choose based on you know what their overall needs are so it doesn't always equal work but I've had I had two come in really quickly last week um which were quite last minute towards the end of the working week, which is why I was doing them over the weekend. And um, once you get the okay, you get a brief um, with stipulations and ideas of what kind of content they, they would like you to create. Um, and you usually take that and then come up with your own concept that you feel is like true to you or reflective of the kind of thing that, you know, you like to create and, and what, you guys would hopefully like and um, sometimes you have to sign non-disclosure agreements when it's for new things and um, items get sent out to, to you for you either to like review or test things like that um, and some of the process like I did some work at the end of July and it only went live at the end of August but then some like the recent two have been really really quick and um, 
I was working with Sainsbury's, ironically, on back to school stuff, doing like pat lunches because they've seen my pat lunch content, really liked it and wanted to like partner with me on that. Um, and while I was here, like we'd arranged a time to go live um, and I knew that and I booked my slot between 9 and 10 and I need to go live at 10 and because I got here like slightly after taking the returns um, and traffic and stuff, I thought, right, I'll go and sit in because it's coming up at 10 o'clock and get myself a coffee. Yeah, I had that, set the work live, which can take, depending on what it is, anything between a few minutes to about half an hour Um and you've got to go through it all and check that it's right and follow all the guidelines and stuff. So I've done that. And now I've got two more packages to take to the post office, but I'm mindful of stuff being in the car for too long. So I might take the other post office items later, see how I get on, because there's no rush. Um, I've got two for the post office and one for an every drop-off point. So, yeah... I might hold off, I don't know, I'll decide when I'm driving home, if I drive past and I see that they're not too busy maybe I'll just nip in quickly um, and then, oh yeah, while I was in Sainsbury's um, I thought I'll just have a look for a fitted sheet because I've got some new bedding coming, um, you know like when you wash bedding after a while it starts to go thin um, and I'd had my eye on another set so I bought the set but I didn't have a fitted sheet and this is kind of this, well I'll show you somehow at some point but yeah I got a fitted sheet and it's a habitat one really really like that one and I love I love neutral warm tones you know me I need to go now so we are having to turn the car back on and we're gonna get cracking okay we're chanting it because the car park was quiet and keys in the post office are always a nightmare so these two are coming with me H&M, ASOS both look terrible on me we're not going to talk about it and now we have one left and then that is me done. Yay! We're just saying to Mark, we've been sent the phone book and um, how pathetic is that these days? He just said you couldn't stand on that to kiss someone. Um, was it Robbie Williams that did that? Robin? No, Robbie Williams. Anyway, in the recycling that goes. Okay, so I'm home obviously, I've laid all of this out, gone through my fridge and my cupboards, anything that might be slightly out of date or I want to put aside, like normally I go through the veg drawer and pick out bits for the rats that are coming to the end but I know that they will really appreciate it. I've done all of that, laid everything out and now I'm going to film it. I've also bought some washing off the line, that's still damp because it's while it's muggy and very warm, it's not, it's very cloudy, so it's drying very slowly. Merlin's just a mood, isn't he? What a vibe. He's just there staring at his pig. Um, <laughs> so I need to hang up some stuff and get some more washing on, but I'm going to film this now, get it all put away, and then I may possibly film another video. I'll just see where I'm at for time. So I've where do I start? I put everything away. I've obviously filmed that. I would like to get that edited today, but primarily I need to edit a brand video first. Um, I'm just making myself a drink in my Stanley dupe, as people call it. Um, I'm going to have some lemon double concentrate and I'm going to put some ice in it as well because I'm very hot. Um, to be honest, I don't know how much cleaning I'm going to get done before I get the kids. It might have to be an after school type thing, um, which often ends up, I give myself a to-do list sometimes that I know I'm not going to get done just so I can beat myself up about it afterwards. I'm horrible to myself. <laughs> Put one of these in my bra, I would. It's starting to warm up a bit now and um, it's been overcast all day but now the sun's coming out and believe it or not, I'm not really in the mood for that. But um, yeah. Everything's away now. I've cleaned out the fridge and reorganised that. In fact, would you like to see? Let me show you. So this is the fridge. Everything is sorted. So I try and organise it as best I can. I've got Bill a prime for like his, like a well done first week back kind of thing. Start. That is my timer for these. So if you follow me on Instagram and you might see them on my YouTube shorts too, I do 
little restock reels. I love filming them, but they take surprisingly a long time. And one of the things I'm doing just for the weekend is doing some cookies. Um, they're M&S ones from the freezer, so looks like I'm some sort of baking goddess. I'm not. I'm really not. Um, and then, yeah, all of this is organised now. So we have meats in here, like sandwich meats, cooked meats, really. Um, cheese, one, kids' snacks. I used to have kids' snacks higher up, but I've moved them down so they're a bit more accessible to them. Um, yogurts, dairy, like, sweet earth snacks. And then this is all the savoury. Um, great for just grabbing for lunch boxes. And then just a few bits and bobs. The pineapple wouldn't fit in the fruit drawer. Um, that's, this says snacks. My mum gave me this because she wasn't using his, but I put all our condiments in it. And then loads of fruit and veg, which is good. And then, yeah, that's all just nice and clean and the same with all like here and then with my restock videos i restocked all the cereal and um, i filmed the <laughs> fruit bowl like little bits like that but that in itself has probably taken me with like i wash everything first and clean it all out again with the cereal box it's probably taken me about 40 minutes just like setting it up getting the angles right and stuff i need to restock these i love these they're from timu and um, i need to actually get some more um vegetable oil which i forgot to add to my shop because i'm a plonker um come out wedding photos um so yeah we've got like an hour left to do some editing so i really need to crack on and that is what i'm gonna do i'm at my desk um so everything that i filmed yesterday is on this memory card you're on a separate one i have about 10 um and sometimes you have to keep content for a while in case the brand wants to come back and like ask for rights to it to repurpose but sometimes it just depends on what the kind of content is that you're working on but now i'm just going to get up iMovie like controversially i don't iMovie is very beginner um but i still use it because it's free and um it's just efficient i'm so hot and so thirsty so the video that i am editing today is a um everything shout have you heard of that at the moment it's a new like it's not a new thing it's a new trend in terms of the name but it's called an everything shower or an everything bath by where you you know when you get in your bathroom and you do everything from like defrizzing to um, washing your hair, like you might fake tan, you might do this, that, and your other skincare. Um, sorry, the camera is right in the way of where, um, where I need to look. One second. So I'm just importing all the footage for that, and you're going to see everything I use, not just like hair care, but like other bits and bobs too. And then I'm going to edit the grocery haul and. I've got to clean the house which I'm it's disappointing you know how I said before I just I've, I'm always like this I can't do everything all at once and um, even though I know that deep down I will still try and do everything and then just be really mean to myself um, and now in my head it's not been a good day because i've not achieved it all does anybody else do that um i will get it done later but in my head i'm like thinking i said this was going to be what i get done while the kids are at school and i've not done everything that i wanted to but unfortunately it's just the way it goes i couldn't really counter in how much time it would take for like travel and and all of that stuff because i've started that um restock reel like I love watching those and I love making them and they always seem to be really well received um and I am I guess what you could call an aesthetic girly I do care about the way things look at home I'm very 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 house proud um a because I think from the family that I've grown up in all the women are very similar we're all very very like proud of our homes and we all love interiors and we're all quite artistic and it's definitely caught on and um also because i think as well like i it was a dream of mine to have a house like this for years and years and years and we've worked so hard to um you know transform it from something that you know initially when i moved in it, it was it was not at all like this but i think that i just 
it makes me so happy and content to be able to like see all my things looking nice and stuff um but the reality is is like I do all of these things anyway and I'll like restock and I'll do certain things um, and I'll like organise because that makes me happy but when I start filming it, it just takes so much longer because um, you want the angle to be right and you want it to be aesthetically pleasing and you're trying really hard not to mess up or make a mess and it's just funny how like, you know, an, a couple of hours of work really, it all just gets edited into a one minute video and that's all it looks like but in reality I mean it's a lot like that with all of my jobs if I can do this before I pick the kids up I'll be happy you know when you just feel so much better so I'm on the way to get the kids and to keep it real I've filmed beard is so noisy. I filmed two videos, edited a brand video, set a brand reel live and I've nearly finished filming a what you would term I guess organic reel and I've done housey jobs. This is the kids at dinner, so these are the cookies that I cooked earlier. Um, peaches, strawberries, cucumber tomatoes, carrot, hummus, and then some pizza. And I've still got a lot more to do. I'm very tired. Um, so to give an update, we walked home from school with our friends. Kids have been back just chilling. And we are... Where are we up to? We've emptied school bags, the uniform is in the washing basket, um, drinks bottles and stuff have been washed and put away. Our new bedding arrived and I just realised that I forgot to press play on the washing machine so I've just pressed it now, that's so annoying though because I really wanted to put that on the bed but I don't know if it'll be dry in time now unless I get it out in the line in an hour. I do not know. I don't want to put it on unless it's like, you know, had a wash, you know what I mean? I'm going to try it on a super quick wash, which I've never done before, but it's not dirty, it's just like out of the packaging, you know, when you just want to like rinse it and freshen it up and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's gone on. Um, Mark finished work before me actually. He's mowed the lawn and strimmed it, which is good because the rain will probably come next week if the forecast is right, although tomorrow's meant to be lovely. So what I need to do now is basically clean the whole house. And you know how I said before, I was like, let's see if we can get it all done by half five. Did I fuck? Because it's 12 minutes past six. Look, let's get the gang out. We're gonna go for the Acevi spray. It smells like Sarah Jessica Parker lovely and it just makes everything so nice. Um, I've been selling stuff on Vinted and everything's like freshly washed but before I put it in I give it a spritz of this when they open it, it smells nice. Um, I've got Lastly Bluyas, I think it is, Three Witches, Limpia Crystals, Glass Cleaner. Um, I've got into Spanish cleaning TikTok, hence these, and then I've got the floor cleaner which I actually often use as like a surface cleaner as well um, because it really gets dirt off. I cleaned all the cupboards when the dog's been for a walk and it's been muddy, which obviously up until recently it has been. Um, when he comes off a walk and he like shakes in here because he's wet, it all just goes all over the units and the washing machine and the dryer. So I love it for that. I would repurchase that again. And then I have my Purdy and Fig counter clean thing um, which is quite nice but I will be honest I'm not the biggest fan of herbal smells um, I like them in say a spa setting but do I like them when I'm cleaning? Probably not. Right so I'm going to use 
this for like in here that with my pretty and fig it came with this and then this is for my windows and my glass can you tell i'm trying to motivate myself um and then a little bit of stacy solomon oh no mrs hinge sorry um for breeze this tiny bit left to freshen up when i'm done um and my love is getting the money. I don't know why I'm singing that. Um, carpet fresh. I'm gonna go for blush pear and blossom. I have to say, I mean, I like a tidy home. Whether or not I like putting the effort in all the time, it, it you know remains to be seen. Um, however, if you clean with products that you really enjoy and like the smell of and yada yada yada, it does make it nicer. So I'm gonna. <laughs> I really want to get it done quickly, but you're going to hold me accountable and be like, you need to film it. I don't really want to film it, but I'm going to have to, so expect me to be done by 8 o'clock at this rate. If we can get it done in an hour, I will be so happy, but let's start in here, let's go. Okay, update, Mark's just said he's going to do the heat ring, so that's amazing. Right, <laughs> let's start in here. It smells so good, honestly, so good. bedding is clean and on the line as are the bottom of Daisy and Stan's booster seats because they looked minging when I was getting the shopping out of the car really. I'm so pleased with this by the way. It is from Amazon but it's in stock a few different places. I can't remember the name but I'll try and remember to link it and obviously the bed sheet is Habitat from Sainsbury's and obviously the bed sheet is Habitat from Sainsbury's. The kitchen is kind of done. I've dusted um, and I've done like windows, glass surfaces, but I also need to clean the table up after the kids' dinner and sort out a few bits that are on the island. Um, it looks really dark on camera, but it's not actually like a cave down there, it's just the, the light. But um, yeah, I've got a load of pile of PR boxes and stuff that I need to sort out, but that is for next week. Um, but yeah, I need to keep going. Stop talking, keep going. <laughs> We are done in here, I think. I'm gonna give it a little spritz in a minute. I put the stripe throw there and the throw that goes on the back of the sofa back on because I washed those and they were left out to dry last night. I sorted through here, so this is like gaming stuff and then like hair extensions and random bits of mine, um, but they'd all got jumbled up. This has all had a dust. Obviously I told you about the laundry. I've cleared the table and pretty much cleared in here i just need to move my tripod but we've got we're getting somewhere <laughs> um this could probably go with doing do with going in the wash because it's wet but yeah that's one part of the house done one thing i'm going to do before i go upstairs is get some wax melt lips so everything smells nice these are my favorites from here I'm trying to think what I fancy. Still got some Barbie smells left. So I think Barbie or I think we're going to go for Malibu Beach. There we go. These are the Northumberland Candle Company, by the way. I am currently obsessed with them. I um, can't wait until they do Christmas stuff. But yeah, that's those. I have one here, one in the living room and one in the hall. I'm going to leave that to warm up this one and then remove it and then swap it out. That's that one and this is the last one. Kill me now. So hot. And we are done. And a big sweaty mess. Look at the state of me. I need a shower. Our bed is not made and the washing is not away and I didn't do an additional video but um, 
I think I did a fair bit anyway and the kids were all showered, the kids are happy, the little rule on a Friday night is that they get to have some sweeties and watch film together so that's what they're doing and then Stan and Daisy want to have a sleepover in her bedroom which will allow because it's Friday and why not, you only live once. I am going to make myself a drink, it's Friday night, I might have a rum and coke or maybe a Prosecco. Actually, I will probably just have a water first because I'm very thirsty. Um, if I'm looking shiny, it's not sweat, it's skincare now. Um, but yeah, that shower felt amazing. I literally turned it full blast as cold as it will go and I just stood there like, oh my God. Um, but it's done. The house is pretty much tidy. That means we can enjoy our anniversary weekend and enjoy the last of the sunshine before what I expect will be autumn hits. And um, yeah, it was worth it. But stuff we still got have dinner yet and stuff but it'll be fun but yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video i was trying to just be very realistic with it and um yeah i hope you've had a lovely day whatever you are up to and i will see you very soon don't know what that was <laughs>